All right, welcome to the daily recap. Just going to go ahead and recap the uh, trades for the day. I'm going to really just go over the trades that I took in the London session here. And, uh, you know, took one trade for the silver bullet setup. And it worked out. So let's just kind of uh, look at this entry here that we got. My video. There we go. I'm like, what is going on with this thing? Anyway, he's going to go ahead and try to fast forward over to the uh, entry here. So as you can see, we had a structure shift to the upside here on the one minute chart. We broke this swing high, broke this swing high. So I was looking for an entry at 15.297 and a quarter. And it, it kind of trades back almost to it. I think it trades back to 15.298 and does not tag me in. And I kind of didn't want it to go without me because I wasn't quite sure if it would trade all the way back into this imbalance here. I figured it would at least trade into that 99 area and that's kind of what it does. It trades back into the 99 area and then tries to start moving out of there and I kind of panic and I cancel these orders and just mark it order in at about 02, 15302. It's going to be important later on in the trade, uh, the fact that we kind of left five handles on the table there for our entry. So you can see it comes close to tagging me in there. It comes down to 98. So three ticks away from tagging me in and just does not get there. So I was trying to be patient and just wait on it, but at the end of the day, I didn't. So I went ahead and took it off, and I market ordered in on both accounts here. Five contracts on Apex, two contracts on Top Step. Really just thinking I was going to target 10 handles, so potentially move up into the 12, um, somewhere in there. So it starts to bounce around a little bit. We hold this for quite a while. You know, we're in the green, we're in the red, so on and so forth. Like I said, just trying to take the majority of my position off at 12. So that was kind of the idea. And it trades almost all the way up into the 12. I think at one point on Apex, I'm up about $925. But it just does not have enough energy to get to the 12. It's uh, a few ticks away from it. And once it doesn't make it to the 12, you already know what it does. This thing trades all the way back down. And had I just been patient and left my order at 97 and a quarter... It trades all the way back down to 96, and I would have been tagged in. So you can see right there, we would have gotten tagged in. And this would have been a much shorter hold. Instead of having to hold this through all of this, I would have just simply got tagged in right here at the better entry, five, almost five handles below. Um, and then how long would it take the trade to at least hit my first target? Not very long. Once it gets back going here, it takes out that first target pretty quickly. You can see it right here, moving right on up. And at this point, I'm unwilling to let the trade go red on me again, so I move my stops up to kind of uh, the 20 SMA there. Got one at the 06, just locking in five handles, but really looking for 10 here. And once it moves through the 12 area, I think I'm going to go ahead and lock in 10 handles total on both uh, on all four contracts. So that's what I do. Comes down, stops me out. So I've only got one contract left on here on each account. And uh, you can see I got them at break even pretty much. I think I put this one at $100 over here on top step just because I wanted to lock in $300 for the day. So course I don't have great math now that I look at it that's uh, yeah I guess that's five and a quarter so yeah locking in a hundred on top step thinking I was gonna leave a runner on till 23 on the uh, apex but was kind of eyeballing that 17 area because uh, I knew there was a pivot there so you can see once I got tagged in here I mean this was uh, this is the one minute chart one two three four five six seven minutes for it to hit my target whereas I held this original entry you know through all of this junk whereas if I was just patient when I got tagged in there so I leave a runner on and of course it comes down trades back up a little bit then it comes down just kind of steamroll into my uh, 
I'm going to stop there. You can see it stops me out there for break even, basically. So this is why the entry is important. If I entered at 97 and a quarter, which is where my original entry was, stop would have been right here. Break even stop. Does it ever touch it? No, it doesn't. And what does it do? It continues on up. Trades up through almost to 17. It stops out, I think, one tick before 17, which, you know, that would have been right there where the pivot is. So I would have been probably would have had my stop at least at 10 handles at that point, maybe more. The point is, if I would got if I would have got the uh, good entry like I was wanting to, then um, you know would have had a little more profit there. So you can see on the uh, Apex account we ended up at $805 on top step 295. So it's about $1,100 for the morning session. Uh, didn't really trade these accounts during the New York session today. I didn't really take any entries on them, so that's pretty much where we ended up at. I think I made five more dollars. I took one entry for a scalp on the uh, Apex account. But other than that, we pretty much ended up where we were at there. Uh, just full transparency here. During the New York session, I did try out a new strategy that I'm just kind of working on. And I was fine with trading it live. Uh, I didn't mind. And, you know, kind of showed you guys how trading a new strategy can go bad. If you uh, if you just trade it live without really a whole lot of back testing, and that's what I did. It is something I'm working on. I think I'll get better at it. But this morning we didn't do great, and we ended up we we had a new Apex Challenge account that we bought, and we ended up blowing that account up. That's going to happen sometimes, but I'm okay with that. So ending ending the day in these two accounts positive, blew up the other one. I will be trading uh, my live Apex funded account starting the London session tomorrow. So that will make the money real at that point. And I will only be reporting. I'll, I'll give you guys some updates on the challenge accounts beyond that. But we're going to really just stick to the uh, profit and loss on the Apex funded account. That's going to be the one that kind of counts. So the challenge accounts will kind of move away from, uh, you know, going over those in the afternoon recaps unless we blow the funded account, which let's hope we don't do that. If you're new here, I do stream the London session and the New York session five days a week live, 2 a.m., I'm sorry, 3 a.m. Eastern and 9.20 a.m. Eastern for the New York session. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, uh, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we will see you guys tomorrow.